Tiani Wadansia. Oh, I did cut me. Is the money in place? Yes, but uh, we need certification to know if these uh, organs are in top shape. Of course. Can I see them? By all means. SDF Alpha 760. Confirmed. But do you know it almost defeats the purposes of these organs when you think of the little lives that are wasted in order to acquire them? Don't you think it's better they give up their organs now they're still young and fresh rather than later when they've destroyed them with drinking and smoking? You don't really mean that. Do you? My business here is done. Good day, gentlemen. Pretty as usual, huh? So, why did you look very surprised when you saw me at the door? Well, I didn't know your timeout would end so soon. Timeout? What timeout are you talking about? Isabella said you girls were meeting up and, uh, never mind. So why would she ever come to my place for a girl's time out? Now if you two girls don't get along, then what are you doing here? I mean, where is she? How would I know? I came here because... because I like you. I'm attracted to you, Jay. It hurts me to know that you're living a lie with Isabella. What do you mean? Don't tell me you don't get curious. What does your wife do for a living? And where does she disappear to? And why would she tell you that she's coming over to my place for a girl's time out when I know that the last thing she would do is breathe the same air as I do? She doesn't deserve you, Jay. She doesn't love you. Give me a chance. What the hell is going on here? Isabella. Very bad that she came here at the time that I was just about leaving. Bye, Uche. Isabella.
Okay. What are you doing with Yvonne? What did this seem like to you? I want an answer, not another question. What's Yvonne doing in this house in my absence? Sorry, but this is time for questioning. So you answer to this? Where are you coming from? Why, you lost your tongue? I said, where are you coming from? It's obvious you're not coming from Yvonne's place. So where are you coming from? What did she tell you? What she said doesn't matter. What concerns me is where you are coming from. Where? Where did you go? Rubbish. What stunts are you trying to pull? I don't know what you're talking about. But whatever it is, it sure did ruffle your feathers, I can see. This is just the beginning. If anything happens to my marriage, I swear to God, hell will not be big enough to hide you. Do you understand me? Poor you. You know, fear of discovery is the reason why call girls like us are not supposed to get married. But what have you done? Obviously, you chose to forget the rules, and now you're afraid that when your husband finds out the kind of girl that you are, he'll eventually throw you out. <laughs> Gosh, I can't wait to see that happen to you. You'll die first, even if I had to kill you with my own bare hands. Yvonne, I won't warn you again. In fact, next time, I will be too inclined to use words. We'll just wait and see. Don't forget, I know what you know. Isabella, you almost exposed the activities of the foundation into the open. <laughs> I mean, how could you do such an irresponsible thing? I'm sorry, Your Grace. I didn't mean to. I didn't know. You didn't know what? How? You didn't know! You didn't know out of blind jealousy. That you inadvertently made that police that policeman become suspicious of Isabella and the foundation, not to mention me. I mean, what got into you, child? Nothing got into me, Your Grace. Nothing. I only did what I deemed necessary at the moment. It's not fair that Isabella is allowed to do everything while we the other girls at the foundation are left with nothing to do. Besides, Isabella is a cheat and a liar. And I only felt pity for that poor boy. I used to must have feeling pity for that officer. You have no business feeling pity for anybody. Because the God Almighty himself did not appoint you as his guardian angel. That officer is a fool and is getting fool's reward. And that will be your lot if you do not start reparation immediately. With all due respect, Your Grace, if by reparation you mean she should go talk to him again, I don't think so. Mm -mm. There's no way I'm letting the snake anywhere near my husband. But, 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 but that's part of the punishment. No, thank you. He's my problem and I'll handle him. Find some other way to punish him. Yvonne, it is my decision that you be suspended from the foundation immediately. That your salary and allowances be suspended until further notice. No, Your Grace, you can't do that. This is my only means of survival. If you suspend me, how can I cope? You should have thought of that when you went prattling off to your police, police friend. No, you're crazy. I said get out! This 
I can't believe this. This is just not happening. No. Can you imagine me, a whole me, getting suspended because of that unpity witch? Oh, this no. Sir, this is just not happening. <laughs> How do you mean it's not happening? Was it not the Archbishop that suspended you? <laughs> my day is already happening. You better believe it. Tasha, you don't get it. You don't get it, do you? Look, first, my car has been taken away from me, coupled with the other benefits I get as the Foundation's mercenary. All because of who? Because of Isabella! That witch! God, I curse the day she was born. <sighs> but I warned you, Yvonne. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. See where your jealousy has landed you for Isabel. You better go looking for Isabel and ask her to forgive you before it's too late or you're done for. <laughs> what? Hmm. Me? Go searching for Isabella and ask her for her forgiveness? Never. I would never do that even if she holds the air that I must breathe. I would never do that. I see. So what are you going to do then? I adopted one of the children at the orphanage six years ago. That's my big secret. So why haven't you told me all this while? I don't know. I didn't tell you before the wedding. I just didn't know how I was going to tell you now. But then we are married, okay? What's wrong with that? I was going to tell you. I was just looking for the right time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where is she? She's in a boarding house. I try to see her at least twice a month if I can help it. How old is she? She's 12 now. Honey, I'm sorry. I was going out to tell you. I promise you. Yvonne knew you didn't know. That's why she came. She's always been the jealous one. She's envious of me and everything I have. And that includes you. Can't you see? She's trying to ruin our marriage. Please don't let her, please. Let's do it this way, okay? The only way I'm going to forgive you is make sure you bring that girl here. Okay? On her next holiday. I will. I promise. Are we okay? Okay, can I read my paper? No. I know you want me, baby. 
It must be very, very, very difficult for you to abide by all the rules of looking and never touching. Ah. Oh. So today, I have come to make all your dreams come true. Welcome back to the country, sir. I hope you had a worthwhile trip. Thank you very much, Sam. Yes, I did. Even though I had to cut my trip short to come back. Now, what's this thing I hear about the murder of the police CIO and the NDLA chairman? Is it correct? I'm afraid it is so, sir. They were both murdered in a hotel in Lagos while investigating a case against Wellspring Foundation. Did you say Wellspring Foundation? Yes, sir. This same foundation is believed to have masterminded several human organs trafficking in the states. Now, what have you done in the interim as a clue to ascertain the level of involvement of this, of this organization in this murder case? Not at the moment, sir. Oh, come on. But just before his death, we received the mail from the chief investigating officer of the case. Yes. It is this mail that we have as the only clue as to what led to his death, sir. Good. Now, what I wanted to do is to let me have the content of that mail immediately you leave here. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Good. And, by the way, Sam, do you realize that the office of the CIO is still vacant? Yes, sir. And we need to replace somebody, I mean, replace immediately. No problem, sir. My secretary is already preparing a list of possible qualified candidates for the position. As soon as this list is ready, I'll get them to your table, sir. All right, Sam. It's just that um, I have somebody in mind uh, who can take that place, a uh, position like that. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. got me there. No, oh, darling. I promise you, as soon as I'm through with the commissioner, I'll come back to you. Yes. On my own. Okay? Come on, dog. Oh, don't I love it. Alright then, Chica. I have some money for you. So as soon as she's through with her checkup in the hospital, we can buy her something. Please, don't drop my money. Please take care of my baby, okay? I will. Darling, love you. Mwah. Why not say bye to that? Bye, Dad. Bye, love. Right. You go make your hair. I'm going to go to the restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I came as soon as I got your message. You said it's a matter of urgency. Yes, please sit down. Thank you, sir. Actually, 
What I want you to do for me is more of a favor. I'm sure you heard about the murder of the police CIO and the NDLA chairman. Oh, yes, I did, sir. It's all over the news. As I speak to you, as we talk together now, um, the CIO's office is still very vacant. I would want you to occupy that seat as, as a favor to me, if you don't mind. Well, sir, with due respect to you, sir, I, I may have to turn down your, your offer. Sir, I took a vow and a decision to quit the police force because of my wife's death as a result of my involvement in a dangerous case. Yes, I realize it was quite an unfortunate incident, your wife's death. But vows made can also be broken. And I'm sure by the time you get to know a person or persons behind this, you might want to cave in. No, sir. Knowing about it will not make me change my mind. I am done with the force. I've carved a niche for myself, sir. I own a security outfit and I'm doing very well. As a matter of fact, my daughter and I are very much safer now than we used to be. Michael, just cast your mind back. And um, does this name strike you? Theophilus of Suji. Does it ring a bell in your ears? Theophilus of Suji. You mean have I forgotten the man who duped and stripped my father of everything? Including his honor as a man by impregnating his wife, my mother. And as if that was not enough, took their lives in the process. Never. I could never forget such a man in a hurry. You've really not forgotten. So what has he got to do with all of this? Yeah, you see, before the uh, CIO's death, there was this startling revelation, a crucial information which he found out uh, that there's this, but this organization that's into all manner of businesses shady business as it were, um, espionage, drug trafficking, trafficking human parts, so on and so forth, by name Wellsprings Organization. And in the course of his informal investigation, he found out that, that this very organization could be headed by an archbishop by name Theophilus Osuji. So are you sure about this? Because that man's heart is too black to be a priest, <laughs> reverend, pastor, let alone an archbishop. So are you sure we're talking about the same person here, sir? Actually, I have not known him that much. Uh, so I wouldn't say whether he's the very person we're talking about here. But I want to believe that you are the only person that can find out this for me. And they will also think and believe that you should be able to find and get more information that could help us nail him. Our adventure is found out to be behind this uh, Wellsprings criminal network. Wellsprings. Well, didn't I hear Wellsprings being something of a charity organization? Exactly. But you see, from the CIO's revelation into things more sinister than we can imagine. So. Sir, I'm very sorry. But my answer is still the same. It's because of criminals like Theophilus Osuji that I joined the force. But when my wife died, I realized that one man cannot change this world. There will be more murders. There will be more criminals. There will be more shattered dreams and shattered hopes. There will be more criminals like Theophilus Osuji. I'm sorry, sir. My answer is no.
Here is a report on the 7 o'clock news headlines. Yesterday, at the Guinea Ice Cream Park, a young lady was shot dead by some suspected kidnappers who made away with the young lady's word. The ID found on the body of this young lady revealed identity as Ms. Udenwa Chika. The police is still waiting for anyone who has any information whatsoever regarding the identity of this young lady and implores the general public to take necessary precautions towards protecting the lives of their young ones in this perilous period. Is she the one? Daughter's nanny. Anything else? No, sir. But then we have a feeling that this kidnapping has a connection to several others which have been taking place for some time now. You mean. You mean this occurs regularly? Yes, sir. And we suspect it is being carried out by the same organization. So what, what's happening here? Have they asked for anything? What do they want? They usually don't. I'm afraid these children have other purposes other than ransoming. one she'll be of no use to us why I'm afraid she has a cancerous kidney <coughs> what a waste kill her then so we can get it over and done with no I mean there's no need <laughs> why not you heard the doctor she's sick and dying so she's of no use to us Yes, she's going to die anyway, whether we do it ourselves or not. What the hell is going on here? Is our Isabella sudden getting too soft or what? I just think it's best we conserve our energy bearing another worthless corpse. Let her die with her family. She's their problem. Yes, Thank you. Um, I think so too. In that case, you know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, darling, darling, I'm here. 
It's me. Baby, I'm so sorry. But I'm here now, okay? I'm going to be with you. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? Tell me how he's here to see you, sir. Please let him in. All right, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, Michael. Yes, I didn't expect to see you soon after you turned on my request. Or have you suddenly changed your mind? Well, sir, I'd like to take you up on that offer. That is, if the position is still open. But I know why you suddenly changed your mind to start with. Sir. I have come to realize that running away will not guarantee immunity from crime. I have come back to fight it. So, is that safe to say, to say welcome back to the force? Yes, sir. That is where you really belong. So, welcome back to the force. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. So, as soon as you leave here, get to the personnel and uh, they'll sort you out. All right? Thank you, sir. Now that the new CIO has been appointed, I think we should consolidate our position with him so that he can instruct his boys to look the other way as we carry out our lawful operations. Well, Your Grace, what if the new CIO is not one looking the other way? What do we do? Oh, well, well, we don't assume. Why don't we talk to him first? Besides, I don't think he would like to follow his predecessor since he would not like to have the same kind of unfortunate end. In our usual way, we start with diplomacy. If that fails, you know what to do. Mm. A prudent man foreseeth evil and hides away. The simple go and get punished. Invitation, you say? Yes, Your Grace. And what is the function? Um, it's the swearing in party of the new police investigation officer signed by the commission. Really? Thank you, Oliver. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> oh, here is one with a little bit of common sense. What else can this invitation be than a statement from this young boy saying, I understand, and that uh, he's ready to play ball? <laughs>
to have released that girl. We could have used her as a good bargaining tool. I'm sorry, Your Grace. The little girl was sick and we didn't know she was going to come in and hand it later on. Even at that! What, 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 what made you release her? What gave you the temerity to take such an action without my authorizing it? Bosco wasn't the one that made the orders for the girl's release, Your Grace. What? He was only following orders. He wasn't? Whose orders was he following? Isabella's. Isabella? Isabella was the one that made that authorization, Your Grace. To tell you the truth, we were all very surprised when she said that. And if you'd ask me, I'll tell you that she's becoming very, very soft ever since she got married to that officer of a guy. So if we don't take care of her, she's probably going to fail us at the end. Hmm. Bosco, call me Isabella at once. Yes, Your Grace. Isabella, what in the places were you thinking of? Do you know how much that decision of yours has cost us? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but I had no way of knowing she was the CIO's daughter. I just figured since she had a cancerous kidney, she was of no use to us dead or alive. Oh, that is nonsense talk! And you know it! Nonsense! You are not being paid to think those foolish thoughts, however charitable. However charitable! as a disadvantage now. Well, let's look on the bright side. I doubt that girl is smart enough to know what was going on around so. There you go with your stupid assumptions again. What makes you think that that girl cannot talk? I mean, look. <laughs> Where are the case notes of the late investigating officer? They are probably right on the table of the new appointed one. We are greatly disadvantaged. I'm sorry, Your Grace. It was not my intention to complicate issues. Please forgive me. Well, while you are feeling sorry for yourself, think of how we are going to get out of the situation. I'll do whatever it takes. Round. Get yourself prepared. You are going on an assignment soon. An assignment? Yes. The new investigating officer has just called the nanny services for a nanny. And you are going to represent that nanny. I'm going undercover as a nanny? Yes. No offense, Your Grace, but the only thing I know about children are their organs and how they work. Learn fast, because you are going to be there for as long as it takes to get all the information that I require. Then, after which, you will kill him and kill his daughter. Is that clear? But what if she recognizes me even before I start? Well, let us hope that she's not clever enough, as you said. Ready to go. Dear, please don't go, okay? Just listen to me for once. I have to. I have to work. It's the reason I'm being paid. What kind of work I told you do that? You don't even have time for your family, your marriage, me. All you do is jump from one country to another place, and I don't even know what you do. 
I have answered that question time and time again. In fact, the fact that you're asking me means you don't believe a word I have said. I work for my grandfather and that's all I can tell you. You do things about time your grandfather realized that you were a married woman. I mean, you need to take care of your home. Man, that's not what I came for, man. Please. And I'm really sorry you feel this way, but I can't discuss this now. I have a plane to catch, so when I get back, we'll sit down and think about the next best course of action. Meaning what exactly? Meaning, I don't want to be that woman who ties down a man in a marriage he's not happy with. I don't want to be a hindrance to your happiness. So, I suggest you sit back, think about what you want, what's important, and we'll make a decision. Okay? See ya. Of course I do think so. Hmm? You're going to do daddy one favor. What is it? You're not going to ask daddy any more questions until she comes. Huh? Promise? Deal? Deal. Good. Rebecca Pierre from the agency. Oh, okay. Rebecca Pierre. Thank you. All right. I'm Michael. Here is my lovely daughter, Melissa. Sweetie, why don't you say hi to Mrs. Pierre? Hi, Mrs. Hello, Melissa. How are you? I've been looking forward to meet you. I'm sure you and I are going to be very good friends. What do you say? <laughs> Please forgive my daughter. She's not always this shy. Uh, that's fine. I'm still a stranger to her, but not for long, I can assure you. Oh, please. Thank you. Mrs. Pierre. That sounds French. Uh, well, yes, my late husband is from Ivory Coast, but I'm Nigerian. Oh, I'm so sorry about your husband. Uh, that's okay, thanks. Well, you're welcome to my home. Uh, can I... can I call you Rebecca? No, I'd rather you called me Mrs. Pierre. So. Yeah, fine. Uh, so, I can show you the way around the house. Yeah? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so this is the kitchen. Hello. 
Hello? Hello, hi. Uh, my name is Michael Udemuya, police CIO. I'd like to confirm the identity of one Mrs. Rebecca Pierre. Yes, does she work with your service? Oh, okay. So you can confirm that. All right, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Miss Pierre. Miss Pierre. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Miss Pierre. Morning. What time is it? Time for my bed. I've already had my breakfast. <sighs> Don't you know you're not supposed to eat before you have a bath? Yeah, he went there to give me a, but so I ate breakfast with daddy. I see. Where's your daddy now? He have left for work. He's gone to work? Oh my god, is it that late? Oh. My spare, can I call you Becky? Uh, well. Only if you promise. To beg your daddy not to sack me for waking up late. You do that? Deal. Good girl. Deal. Okay, um, let's go and give you a bath. Where are you going, Mrs. Pierre? Aren't you joining us? I'll have my dinner in my room, sir. I don't think so. You will join us on the table. No, it's fine. I'll join I you. insist. Dad, guess what? What, Angel? Miss Pierre said I can call her back in. If, if I help her to tell you not to suck her. <laughs> suck her? Well, why would I want to do that? She only just got here, baby. Because she woke up late this morning. I'm so sorry I overslept. I didn't mean to. It's okay. I understand. I mean, it was just your first day. But I trust it will never happen again? No, never. Good. Now, can I call you Becky? Of course, darling. We had a deal, remember? I hope this deal also includes me. No. Come on, sweetie. I should be included in this deal. On this deal, I mean, come on. Um, calling Pierre is tongue twisting for me, Nigerians, <laughs> don't you think? and find something to read. Oh, really? How did you intend to do that with the lights out? Well, I didn't want to wake anybody up, so I figured I might as well use a flashlight. I see. Well, I don't know if you like my kind of literature. I, I have a whole collection of John Grisham's, if that will interest you, that's if you're fine. Uh, that's fine, if, as long as it's a romantic, I'm, I'm good. Oh. One would never have thought it. What? That the unapproachable Mrs. Pierre is um, a romantic at heart. Besides, you look really beautiful. Without the scarf and the glasses on, that is. 
thank you, I guess. I wonder why you bother with them at all. You have such natural beauty. I mean, you're so beautiful. I need my glasses to read. Really? Ever heard of contact lenses? I don't care much for beauty. Okay, it um, comes with too much pressure. From men? What? Are you scared of being attractive? Why do you wear lots of black? Are you trying to hide your beauty? Did you love him that much? That you mourn him till now? Yeah. Maybe. You have such natural beauty with very fine features reminds me of someone She could at least crawl so I could hear her voice. God knows I miss her. I know. I sure do know, and I'm sorry. I feel so useless not being able to trust her. And I keep thinking, what if all I've, I've heard about the foundation, the grandfather, what if they were all wrong? That. Even you with your own very eyes saw all the evidence pulling up against Wellspring. <laughs> if the Archbishop is involved, then I'm sorry, Isabella is most likely involved too. God, why did I fall for the wrong woman? Why me? Come on, Jane. Don't be hard on yourself. No one can actually direct the course of love or change its will. All you need to do is to put yourself together and um, move on with life. I hear you, bro. I wonder if that's possible. <laughs> Impossible. That's what we all say at the beginning of any heartbreak. But believe me, in no time, you'll be yourself. For a start, you must agree to come with me to the party at the headquarters today in honor of the new CIO. Okay, I don't think I'm in the mood for any party, okay? Man, I'm not in the right frame of mind. I'm sorry, bro. I can't relish the idea of you sitting at home moping in the house while I go out there enjoying myself in my conscience. You have to come with me and I promise you it's gonna be fun. That's a promise. Whatever. Whatever means you're coming, right? Haha, <laughs> it toast to that day.
from the way you're looking. Guess you wish you had a child of your own. Maybe. So why didn't you? Um, my my late husband was was there, so we didn't have the chance to make babies before he died. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. It's in the past, and I'd like to be with him. Are you done? I can't believe I could have lost her too. Two. Her mother. She died. She was killed. Murdered by a gang who wanted me off a case I was working on. Her death was a form of warning of sorts. One would have thought fate would deal me Lillian's hand. But fate doesn't always work the way we want it, does it? Well, at least she's alive. You have that to be grateful for. Not for long. What do you mean? After her mother's death, I realized the duty I owed Melissa. So I retired from the police force. That was before I found out. Before I found out, Melissa had a cancerous kidney. My God. I'm so sorry to hear that. It must be terrible for you. I mean, isn't there something you can do? Maybe a transplant? Yeah. Many doctors have recommended it, but... I'm still thinking about it. Look, I know you're scared. You have every right to be. But look at it this way. You have a chance to save her life. I mean, she might leave. And she might die. Melissa is a wonderful girl. You can't help but love her. So. Mm. Sure. Can I ask you for a favor? 
What? Sir. There's this dinner party that's been held in my honor. And I must make an appearance. I need you to be my escort. I'm sorry I can't. It's not my job. I think it's my prerogative as your employer to decide what is and what isn't your job. I'm here to babysit and you signed an agreement. I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but I'm afraid I can't go anywhere with you. Grandpa is right. I am dragging my feet. But why am I being hesitant? Isabel, do this thing. What's wrong with you? Whatever you think you feel for this guy, don't let it get the better of you. This is business. No sentiments involved, remember? This is not the time for matters of the heart. Snap out, find the evidence. Like it? That's not the point, and you know. It's then what is? Would you rather go to the party just like this? Michael, I already told you. Don't push it. I'm not going to your damn party. Finally, she calls me by my first name. Look, I am not going anywhere without you, and I must go to the damn. I won't hesitate to dress you up myself. Maybe that's what you really want. I didn't think so. So my dear, you have 20 minutes to get ready. You don't want to keep the organizers waiting now, do we?
Roscoe! Bruno! Ah, sorry. Not in my mind. I have a minute to ask you. Nobody seems to have seen the Iron Lady, Miss Abella. What is cooking? So you didn't know? She's walking undercover as a nanny in the new CIO's house. The game plan is for her to gather all the information, waste the man and his daughter. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know that. Well, in the organization, it is a top secret. But I trust you. Well, I have to be running off now. Why? I thought that we are heading to the bar after here. It's all our time. I have an urgent RSC to run. Catch up. This is not ordinary. This is extraordinary. Something is happening Something is wrong It's a smoke screen To hide what's really happening It's a game of deception To give the people the wrong impression To cover up the evil to cover up the evil actions oh. Hello sir The organization of sending a killing machine to meet you and your daughter No chief, I just found out not quite long She'll be posing herself as your daughter Nani Her name is Isabella Okay chief Okay, sir. for yourself. Where the hell did you get this? I don't think that's the question at hand, Your Grace. Or should I say, Father? What, you think I wouldn't find out? That the man who allegedly adopted me, nurtured me, turned me into a killer machine. Someone I called grandfather is no other person but my father. How could you? How do you sleep? Don't you have a heart? That's enough, Isabella. I was doing you a favor. Yes, I may be your father. But how many fathers have you had who have come back for their daughters born to them by whoring prostitutes who have little or no regard for the sanctity of marriage? Yes. I came back after your mother and uh, her so-called husband died. See what a gorgeous creature you have turned out. You mean after you snatched me away from my arms and killed her and her husband? <laughs> I can see that stupid fool has been filling your head with rubbish. I sent you there to do a job, not to listen to the prattling of a fool. Michael has said nothing, you sanctimonious devil. You dare call me names? Are you out of your mind? I can snuff life out of you with a twist of my, of my wrist. I can call you whatever I please and you can do nothing. Do you know why? Because you're nothing without That's me. enough. Is enough, Isabella, or you will regret it for the rest of your life. Before you go any further with your threats, Your Grace, I want to inform you that I want out on this dirty organization. In, in fact, I'm out. Stop. 
started from this minute. I am sorry to disappoint you, my dear Isabella. You think you can wash your hands of the organization just like that? It is till death do you part. Because once you are in, you can never get out. Really? Watch you. You know what you stand to lose, Isabella? I can give the police all the information they need to nail you. Espionage, drug deals, even the organization. Oh yes, I can make you look so bad as the bad egg that has corrupted the entire organization. You would do that? To your own daughter? Don't push me. What do you want from me? Haven't you done enough? Haven't you used me enough? Taken enough? You are still on assignment. Now you finish that assignment. And then we bargain. Fine. This last time. but I don't think we can trust Isabella to execute that assignment, Your Grace. I suggest we do something fast before we get any surprises. You know what to do. This is not ordinary. This is extraordinary. Something is happening Something is wrong It's a smoke screen To hide what's really happening It's a game of deception To give the people the wrong impression To cover up the evil function to cover up the evil action Uche, forgive me, for I know I have put you through a lot. And you probably hate me by now for it. But I can explain. You see, I was taught at a young age by a man I looked up to. That you either use people or they turn around and use you in order to achieve a motive, whether good or bad. I used you, Uche, and I'm sorry. I have seen the questions in your eyes far more times than I can count. You never really knew, but the love you showed me gave me so much joy. And for that, I feel I should reveal to you the real person behind the woman you call a wife. Your police department is right about Royal Spring. We are all you say we are and more. The human parts, trafficking and drug dealings and all are all for real. And I am one of the head assassins of the organization and recently discovered a legit daughter of the CEO of the company, the bishop. In fact, Uche, I am the killer bride who took out your boss and the NDLA chairman. As I write this letter, I am on a mission to kill the new police bureau of investigation and his daughter. But I know I can't do it. 
because I know you'll be sorry to hear this, Uche, but I have fallen in love with him. By the time you read this letter, I might be out of sight or even dead. But whatever the case may be, I want you to know I am really sorry for all the pain I have put you through. And I will continue to love you in my own little way. Goodbye, Uche. You too, darling. How are you? Okay, sweetheart, you need to come inside, okay? Daddy will want to have Why did you come back? To complete your assignment, Isabella? Oh yes, I know a whole lot about you. I hear you are the Archbishop's killer machine. So why didn't you kill me and my daughter? I couldn't. You couldn't? Or you... You feel strongly for me as I feel for you. I just couldn't. You're lying. You knew there was something, some form of connection between us the moment you stepped into this house. And the love grew, just as mine grew. It doesn't matter what I felt or feel. You and I are from two different worlds. You're a cop and I'm a repentant criminal. I stole this from you. And this is all you need to take the organization down. What are these? It's all the information you need on the drugs, the murders, the kidnaps. You know they will hunt you down. They will kill you, knowing you failed in your assignment. They will kill me anyway because I quit. Look. Listen. You don't have to go. We can fight them. Together we will fight them. I will protect you. You can't protect me. Besides, I don't want to drag you into this. That's how much I care. Investigation, not Isabella. I'm sorry, Your Grace. But really, there was nothing I could do. Isabella got in the line of fire at the very last minute. I'm sure she was only protecting the man. Oh, you wicked girl. You wicked, wicked girl. I bet 
you killed her out of blind jealousy. You killed my daughter. You killed my daughter and you have the guts to come back to me and say you are sorry. You are sorry. I'll show you sorry. The Christ, no. Surrounded by the police. Put away your weapons. And do not take any unwise steps. Come out with your hands behind your head.